Hello and welcome. We'd like to thank you for joining us today. Uh, welcome to our webinar. We're going to be talking about supercharging your service organization with live video support. Um, this is going to be an exciting topic. I think hopefully it will be informative for you as well. Um, and we are glad that you're able to take a little bit of time out of your day to join us, whether that's in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening, depending upon where you're located. Let's start off with some introductions. Uh, my name is Ben Pinkerton. I'm Vice President of Product Marketing here at SiteCall, and I'm joined today by Tyler. Tyler, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello everyone. I uh, look forward to walking you guys through a demo here shortly. I'm Tyler Beck uh, with the Solutions Engineering Group. Great. So let's, let's take a look at what we're gonna take you through today. Uh, on the agenda today, we're first going to kick it off with an introduction to visual support. You know, what is visual support and, and how is SciCall involved in visual support? Um, then we'll take you through the benefits of visual support technologies. Uh, next, we'll take you through some live customer examples um, of companies that are using visual support on an everyday basis. And then Tyler's gonna take us through a really cool demo that lets you actually see site call visual support in action. So with that, let's just dive right in. So, um, you know, the first question you might be asking yourself is what, what is visual support? Um, to put it really simply, visual support is a way to facilitate clear communication between a remote expert and someone who needs assistance. So how do we do that? Uh, we do that through a live video session. So when you are when you are conducting a site call session, you actually have a live video session that's going between the remote expert and the person who needs assistance, whether that's a customer or a field service technician on their mobile device. And when they get connected, they're actually using the front facing camera on their mobile device in order to show the remote expert exactly what the problem is that's happening. For those of you that's ever tried to help a, uh, you know, a, someone who's not the most tech savvy through a challenging problem on their computer or something like that and tried to just talk through the problem, you know what the frustration level can get to when you're both relying on each other to be articulate enough to explain the problem and the steps to resolve uh, whatever problem they're running into. The benefit of using site call for visual support is that that remote expert can see firsthand exactly what the problem is and then provide remote guidance back to that, that person in need through a series of tools such as on-screen annotation and screen sharing and so forth. So this really breaks down those communication barriers and allows them to quickly resolve the problem and move on. And we see applications for visual support both in a customer service type of role, providing direct customer support, as well as supporting field technicians uh, in a field service role but it can be used in a variety of different areas throughout the business. Um, we've seen visual support used at the point of purchase through facilitating that pre-purchase experience. That involves you know, not only providing product tours, but also maybe doing uh, site assessments before equipment is deployed or installed somewhere. We see it used in improving overall customer experience um, we see it in pre-visit uh, assessments. This is vitally important for reducing truck rolls in a field service scenario. You know, if you can quickly take a look at what's going on with a particular customer scenario before you dispatch a technician, you might be able to, you know, reduce the number of truck rolls by sending the right technician with the right parts and the right tools to resolve the problem on that first visit. Obviously, there's a broad applicability in providing remote visual support. Um, by providing support for either customers or field technicians uh, from that remote centralized expertise. Uh, it can be used in quality, quality assurance through uh, remote inspections and audits. And it's also a great way to facilitate peer training by providing that peer support or assistance during a session, uh, allowing that technician or that person who's actually providing the support or service to be able to have someone they can go to if they get stuck in a particular situation. And there's a tremendous benefits for an organization. Uh, we see a lot of different measurements that different organizations use, um, but really um, it boils down to site call provides improvements across the whole areas of the service organization. 
We see first time fixed rates go up because you can clearly communicate what the problem is and the proper corrective action to resolve that problem. Resolution times go down because you're helping to break down those communication barriers and help uh, both the remote expert and the person receiving the support to be able to clearly communicate and see how to fix the problem. Uh, training times reduced because you're not necessarily relying upon these uh, maybe new technicians to be thoroughly trained and have knowledge in everything. They can more quickly get out into the field and start working on things and gain that firsthand experience while still having sort of a backstop or uh, someone who can help provide assistance if they get stuck with particular challenges in the field. And as we talked about earlier, reducing truck rolls is, a, is another huge benefit because you can maybe resolve a problem with the customer immediately without having to dispatch anyone at all. Or if you do need to dispatch someone to resolve a problem, you can now ensure that you're sending the right skilled technician with the right tools, the right parts, out to help resolve that problem. So all across the business, we're seeing benefits uh, that all ultimately result in you know, improved customer satisfaction, um, reduced time for support, uh, better communication across the board. So one example of where site call visual support is used is at Kraft Heinz. Uh, and Kraft Heinz is using site call for remote inspections and audits. As one of the world's largest food producers and manufacturers, uh, they have a large network of suppliers and they're using site call in order to um, provide remote audits inspections of those suppliers to ensure that the necessary quality assurance standards are being met, safety standards are being met and so forth. And this has been a, you know, a huge benefit for them because they previous to site call were doing all of these in person which had a huge expense, both in terms of travel expense, but also time from those remote auditors. And it didn't allow them to be quite as agile and quick uh, as they needed to be. Now that they can use site call, they can immediately see a problem, pinpoint a problem and provide corrective action. So it's improved their business agility tremendously. Lincoln uh, faced a challenge at the start of the COVID pandemic in that uh, people weren't visiting the showrooms anymore. And of course, they still wanted to find a way to provide that premium Lincoln experience, uh, but to do so in a safe way that people could still get a full tour of a Lincoln automobile from the comfort of their home. So they're using site call to provide a white glove product tour of their of their cars and that allowed them to provide a full touchless delivery experience for a new new car buyer. Uh, GE Healthcare is another interesting one. Um, they had a challenge in that um, they have these, these uh, medical imaging MRI machines that are located across you know, different countries and continents that have um, these machines that have to have a very high uptime. You know, hospitals become reliant upon their medical imaging and they just simply can't tolerate any downtime whatsoever. And so by leveraging site call, they were able to dramatically shorten the turnaround time for maintenance issues from you know, more than three days to just six to eight hours. So it provided them a huge savings in time and to reduce that downtime for those hospitals, their customers. Uh, it also allowed them to provide remote fixes because they could leverage uh, someone who's on site to be their remote hands, but using site call as their remote eyes to be able to see the problem and guide that customer or that technician in the hospital through the repair. So it's it's been a huge savings in terms of cost and time for them. Okay, so that's a little background on site call. I'm now gonna turn it over to Tyler so we can get an exciting demo. So Tyler, go ahead and take it away. There we go. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Ben, are you seeing that okay? Yeah, I can see it just fine. Great. Okay, so I've got, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be showing uh, several of the benefits and features with site call, but um, it, keep in mind that it's gonna be customized and we're just showing 
a few of the things that are possible today with site calls. So if you'd like to, to see more and understand how it pertains to your industry and your use case, please reach out, schedule that free custom demo. We're happy to show you more of what pertains. So today we're talking about a break fix scenario. And one thing to keep in mind as we get started is um, site call is enterprise grade security. So as well as being optimized to work in low bandwidth situations. So you can, you can count on it to work. And what I have set up here today is on the left is the agent or the expert, you know, them logged into the site call standalone console uh, from their browser. And then over on the right is, you know, where we've got visibility into someone's phone out in the world. So I've got this set up to where we can see both sides so we can kind of understand that workflow, uh, understand the guest and what they're doing. It's 82 degrees over in holiday and see it as well from the expert side here in site call. So let's talk about that first important point, which is connection, the ease of connection. For your expert, the ability to kick off different scenarios, whether it's like a pre-sale scenario, kind of like you heard about earlier, or doing you know, an expert support scenario where it's something as simple as sending a text to the guest over on their device. You can notice the guest, he gets that text, clicks on the link, and once he clicks the link, that's starting the session. Um, we have optional terms and conditions that are fully brandable and customizable, um, if you'd like that to be a part of that workflow. But you see it kicking off a video session, no apps required, no installs for that guest, you can just get going. And what's exciting is now we're stepping into that phase of just understanding the problem, right? So for a lot of people, you know, one person's flood is another person's trickle. So it's important to have that visibility. Um, uh, please keep in mind today, we're watching this on a webinar. So my video resolution from this screen share through the webinar, um, there is, it is a little fuzzier than it is in, in real life. So um, well, even better um, experience, HD experience. Um, you know, when you're actually seeing this live, but appreciate that patience there. So the thing that we've got going is we've got the video happening over on the expert. He can see that PCB board that's being problematic as the guest is moving around. You, you'll notice the link pops up. So we've got instant QR code reading. So we can link out to um, whether it's device management, asset management, or you want to guide people to click on a QR code and take them to their nearest service center, distribution center, um, whatever you're trying to guide with those barcodes and QR codes, we can assist with that um, automatically with, with site call. Now, when we're looking at the video, um, we can um, start to um, kind of assess the problem. Um, and what's exciting is the agent or the expert has more power and the ability to not only turn on the flashlight, but can even zoom in, right? And you can manipulate the camera from the expert side, allowing the, the guest to relax a little bit and just talk you through the issue. And maybe as they're, you know, you know, guiding you through it or walking you through the problem, uh, maybe it's getting a little jumbled or it's just getting to be too much. You can uh, just say, hey, if you want to get close to it, I'll pause it. No problem. And now we can start to annotate uh, this image and save this nice high-res image. We have even the ability to do more than that and, um, you know, kind of call out areas of concern and, you know, maybe keep out areas or areas we, we don't need to be worried about. And the guests can be interacting as well. You can say, that is the product code. Is that what you're going to capture? And we can say, absolutely. Thank you for calling that out. That's exactly where I was going to go next. And we can do an automatic uh, optical character recognition, right? So we can, um, you know, initiate this. We have an optimized area so that you can control kind of if you're always looking to the same zone or same size of um, product code or text that you might need. Um, you can uh, zoom in on that or you can, you know, set up that, that predefined zone. And we just simply capture it. And this is important because maybe it's dirty. Maybe this text is upside down. Maybe you have a lot of content you have to capture. And if you're doing that from images, it can be overwhelming from that manual entry of trying to capture this correctly. Now we have a nice HD image that gets saved into the record, as well as the ability to 
see um, you know, that text here. So we can capture that text, copy that into our case management, maybe go do a lookup against recalls, whatever the, that flow you might need, that's where that optical character recognition can be incredibly helpful. So this is all the things, uh, some, you know, some of those steps that go into understanding the problem. So now if we're kind of transitioning into how can we kind of help guide the user towards resolution, um, we can do that from something like a screen share where I'm sharing my screen as the expert or something even more interactive like a co-browse session. So by pasting in a link, hitting start, it's going to launch this uh, URL on both sides. And so as the, you know, the guest is scrolling through, we can even come over and help, you know, call out like, yeah, that's the one I had in mind. Um, you know, we can kind of interact with this document and then I can, um, you know, save that as a part of the record, but also start, you know, sending any additional links that might be helpful for that, you know, for that guest. Part of resolution sometimes includes another expert. So why not reach out to and include that other expert that's seen this particular board, seen this problem before, and we can bring them right into the call and they can discuss it with the guest while the guest is guiding us, you know, kind of through the issue. So this is just, um, you know, a few of the examples of things that are possible with site call, um, I, I wasn't able to get into like the ability to, to understand geocoding and, and confirm their address, the ability to reach out and um, see any offline pictures that they may have saved, as well as um, smart AR assisted measure. There's a lot more we can show you where it comes to your use case, and we'd love to do that. So feel free to, to schedule that, that free custom demo. And Ben, I'm gonna give it back to you. All right, super. Thanks, Tyler. Um, that was a great demo. I, I always uh, think it's so cool just to see what you can actually do with site call and, and the different tools and capabilities that a remote expert has at their hands in order to provide some more support to their customers. Um, so with that, we've, we'll kind of wrap it up from here. I just wanted to, to reach out to or mention to each of you that we really appreciate you taking the time to get a little sneak peek of, of site call. And um, as Tyler mentioned, you know, this is just a, a quick view of some of the things you can do with SiteCall. It's really a, a highly configurable system that can be integrated into third party CRM and trouble ticketing systems, field service management systems, et cetera. Um, so if you'd like to learn more about, you know, what you can do with SiteCall and if you've got a specific scenario or use case in mind, our experts would love to talk to you about that and really just do a deep dive with you to make sure you know, site call can be a good fit for your needs. So one way to contact us is to just shoot us an email, as you see there, bizdev at sitecall.com, um, or just follow up with us with uh, one of the contact us forms off of our website. We're happy to reach out uh, and answer any questions you may have. So with that, uh, we'll end it here. And thank you so much. And please have a great day. Bye.